Hey guys, what's up? I'm Gaurav Nepal. I'm from Institute of Medicine, Maharajganj Medical Campus. And today I'm going to describe about the pathology of papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland. It is the most common thyroid cancer and it usually affects the woman of reproductive age group. It is presented as painless nodule or mass in neck and in cervical lymph node. The most important risk factor for papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland is exposure to ionizing radiation before the age of 20. So, people get exposed to ionizing radiation before the age of 20 during the radiation therapy for acne and for treatment of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. The second risk factor is Hashimoto thyroiditis. Some cases of Hashimoto thyroiditis may progress to papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland genetics. There are three important gene mutations associated with papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland. They are RET gene, RS gene and BRF gene. RET gene, RS gene and BRF gene. RET gene is also associated with medullary carcinoma of thyroid gland and with multiple endocrine neoplasia. This is the gross specimen of papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland. The tumor is solid white and firm and it is non-capsulated. It is infiltrative. You can see cystic degeneration and calcification in the tumor. The tumor is multifocal. You can see cystic degeneration here. You can see extensive calcification in this tumor mass. You can see calcification here. This is the cystic degeneration. This is the microscopic image of papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland. You can see branching papilla here. The papilla consists of central fibrovascular core. You can see the fibrovascular core. And the fibrovascular core is lined by cuboidal tumor cell. It consists of complex branching papilla with fibrovascular core. And you can see dense fibrosis. The papilla is lined by cuboidal tumor cell. You can see lining of papilla by cuboidal tumor cell so let me describe about the individual tumor cell the tumor cell contain orphan any i nucleus orphan any i nucleus is a special type of nucleus in which the chromatin condenses around the periphery of the nucleus leaving the middle or central part of the nucleus empty you can see a lot of optically clear nucleus in this image you can see a lot of optically clear image nucleus in this image. These optically clear nucleus are orphan NEI nucleus. Orphan NEI nucleus is due to the condensation of chromatin around the periphery of the nucleus. So who is orphan NE? Orphan NE was a comic character from US based comic Little Orphan NE. She made her debut into textbook of pathways because of the resemblance of her eyes with nucleus of papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland. The next important microscopic feature is eosinophilic nuclear pseudo inclusion. Eosinophilic nuclear pseudo inclusions are the imagination of cytoplasm inside the nucleus and they are lined by nuclear membrane. Eosinophilic nuclear pseudo inclusions are seen in papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland and in meningioma. So, this is the nucleus and this is the eosinophilic nuclear pseudo inclusion, which consists of lining of nuclear membrane. So this is also eosinophilic pseudo inclusion and you can see lining of nuclear membrane here. This is also eosinophilic nuclear pseudo inclusion. The next important microscopic feature is Seamoma body. Seamoma body is seen in fibrovascular core of the tumor. You can see the Seamoma body here. Seamoma body is basophilic in as staining. It is due to the dystrophic calcification in Seamoma body. This one is also Seamoma body. Seoma body is due to the dystrophic calcification in necrotic tissue. This one is also Seoma body. Now, let's discuss about the prognostic factor. The 10 year survival rate for papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland is 98%. It is highly curable cancer, and the 10 year survival is 100% if the patient is under the age of 20. And cervical nodal involvement or nodal metastasis has nothing to do with the prognosis of papillary carcinoma of thyroid gland so it is a highly curable cancer thank you